Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Rust rewrite for Casper. So we've already talked about 4 blocks per second and 8 blocks per second, but now I think they're going to land on 10 blocks per second for Casper coin when the Rust rewrite fully comes through. So as you can see here from Michael Sutton, who is a Casper developer, he says what value should we insert in the left of the green arrow? So it says 10 blocks per second there if we click on the image. So what you can do is just change this blocks per second parameter and the rest of the chain can change from there. He does also say in a comment below, aside from all the great answers, I'm sad to see there's no appreciation to the fact that BPS can be literally modified through a single line of code and all the consequences propagate thereof. How come no one notices the important stuff? So that is an important thing that, you know, would probably take a long time so it'd probably take a long time to implement into the network if you didn't have the foresight. So obviously they've condensed it down to where they can put just a figure into this blocks per second and it can propagate through the whole network. So that was on June 15th, but we've actually got an update from another Casper developer saying that there's in-house testing of Rusty Casper on 10 blocks per second. And when we look here, it just shows on the side here, accepted 11 blocks, 14 blocks. So you can see there every second so this is one second here 13 blocks another second 13 blocks another second 12 blocks so overall trying to aim for an average of 10 blocks per second so what a lot of people don't also realize about casper coin and the blocks per second is it's not actually going to improve speed of the network it's just going to improve the throughput so casper already has the speed set that doesn't come through blocks per second because even if you put 200 blocks per second it wouldn't mean that your transaction would go through faster it just means that the network could accommodate more transactions a lot of people get that confused there's a difference between speed and throughput of the network by up in the blocks you don't increase the speed of the network because it's all based on seconds anyway you just increase the throughput on the network as you can see here on casper fyi i always like to look at this it shows here the real-time transactions per second and real-time blocks per second so blocks per second is at 0.8, it just changed then, and transactions per second is looking at 0.8. So this is in real time, and when this new update comes in, this blocks per second will update, which means that the transactions per second will also update, but it won't increase the speed of the transactions on the network. This is already a fast network, and we'll display that a little bit in a second. However, there's one thing that I wanted to look at here. This was about test your intuition and try answer this question without doing any calculations. So leave your comments below if you have an answer for this. In order to accommodate 10 blocks per second while retaining the same emission rate as today, we have to make the block rewards 10 times smaller. So we already know that. You just divide what the block rewards are now into, into the number of blocks that you want in the future. However, we all need to round and divide the reward up so it will not have a fractional dewalk. So a dewalk is 100th millionth of a Casper and it's a basic unit of Casper, kind of like how Satoshis are for Bitcoin. How much Casper would this rounding up add to fully the diluted supply? Some call it a soapy. These people are wrong. So soapy, obviously, because of Jonathan Sompolinsky. You know, that's just a quick quiz. I've seen some answers here. I was landing on I was landing on 3,600 just because there's 36 years in the emission schedule, I believe. So that's what I'm landed on. But let me know in the comments what your answer for this is. I don't think they've actually released an answer yet. And lastly, we show a lot of pictures of this rusty Casper update, but here is kind of a test network where the red blocks are actually the ones that won't be included. However, we're still seeing good blocks from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 good blocks. And this is kind of what the network would look like. If we go over to the actual running network, we can kind of have a look at what the network is looking like now. So you take this, it's maybe four blocks, three blocks, one, one, and then it kind of comes in and out of those numbers. But overall, it's one blocks per second. And then we compare it to this picture, we can see that there's a load more blocks coming through on the network than showing in this graph. But when the rusty Casper update comes through, we'll probably see this graph be way bigger with a load more blocks. So I also want to just display the speed of Casper because I haven't actually made a video on how quick Casper coin is. If you've used it before, you'll know that it's very quick. But for those viewers out there who have never heard of Casper or never used it, I'm going to show you how fast it is. And remember, this is a proof of work layer one crypto, not a stake in crypto coin, which is very different because you can have high throughput and transaction speeds on staking, but it's more centralized 
and Casper obviously being a proof of work cryptocurrency is more decentralized and it doesn't sacrifice that decentralization for speed or security on the network. So here we're going to send just some Casper coin over to a Zellcore wallet. So we have our receiving address here. We're just going to put in an amount of 0 0.049. Let's just go with that and let's include the fee in the amount. So we're just going to send it over to this Zellcore wallet here. So if we go back and we scroll down, let's go click on Casper. And then we can see in a matter of seconds when the transaction comes through. So we're going to hit send and then we're going to open Zellcore straight away. Let me just confirm this password. So I'm going to click confirm send here and then we're going to click on Zellcore and wait for it to update through here. So there we go, there comes in our transaction. So there's our transaction coming through and that was at real time. So if we click on the transaction and we go to the top here, we can go on Casper coin, we can go on details and we can look at the transaction here. So this is at 20.48.03. And then if we go and click on this transaction, we can see it's exactly the same time. So that's how quickly the Casper network works because it's one blocks per second. It can instantly put your transaction in the next block and then the second after that, it will go through onto wherever you've sent it to. Now, you do have to have confirmations on the network for exchanges, just because they need to verify that the Casper coming in is actually real. So the higher the blocks per second, the more confirmations you can have. So this makes it very good for exchanges. And I believe Zellcore does have some confirmations, but as it says there, it confirmed basically instantly on the network. And there probably was a little bit of a delay in timings between Zellcore updating on the server. But for the most part on the actual blockchain, it took one second. So to actually see the transaction and what block it went into. So this is, I'm just making sure it's 4803. So our accepting block hash is E8E7F. So we can go back to the block explorer here and we're looking for E8E. It would have been probably back a little bit more. So after looking around for a while, we've actually found our block here. It took me ages to find this block because the network was actually moving so quickly. But as you can see here, the block hash is E8E7F, and that is the same accepting block hash in the network. So when we go back to this graph inspector, and when we go back to the block inspector, we can see the parent blocks and the merge blocks of this block. So that's how quickly Casper coin can actually update on the network. And then you can just click more details in Casper Explorer and look at that. It took me ages to find it. I had to look at the block DAA score and then go through and find that. But if we click this fast forward button, you'll see how much more we're going through. So we are at 159 on the seconds and now we're at 558 on the seconds on the network and it keeps going up and up and up. So that's how quickly Casper can work. Now I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. And I also want to reiterate that speed is not the same as throughput on the network. The rusty Casper update is just going to improve throughput on the network, not exactly the speed. The speed is already there on the network. It just allows more blocks to be made so you can process transactions at a larger amount. This gives us higher transactions per second due to blocks per second. And remember, lastly, this is all on proof of work layer one with no pre-mine, no private allocations to anything, all fair on Casper coin. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for more Casper coin content. This is just a quick one just to display some Casper coin speed and just talk about the Rust update.